lots of gas! Oh, 24 is not wide enough for that. No, it's a good thing I have a long arm. Yeah. Um, we're out here, Friends of Amateur Rockery. Today we are doing an actual vlog on Rocket Vlogs. We got Paz Tart. What up? I'm here. He's out here shooting photos and I'm gonna shoot some video and there's some cool minimum diameter and sub-minimum diameter flights and some liquid motors and everything going on today, so join us, won't you? It's like Adam the Woos thing. <laughs> This is a true Rocket Vlogs vlog style video. Walter, get in here. Okay. Yeah, tell me sure. what's happening. Do I talk for two? We both talk. Well, I, I can talk yeah, take you. turns. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, what uh, is it? This is also, a, who are you? Oh, I'm Walter, and I'm, I make dumb rockets. So, I'm, I'm Thomas, I also make dumb rockets. <laughs> It's a three inch experimental flying case, 50, 60,000 feet. Uh, yeah, custom composites made by Thomas, and then, yeah, hoping it's about an N3000, so Mach 3.4. That's terrifying. Yeah. This is one of the scarier rockets that I've seen, um, <laughs> but one of the cooler rockets that I've seen, and coolness outweighs scary. Um, this fin can is a lot of work, <laughs> and I'm very glad I made it because it looks awesome. It's and pretty. Yeah, the whole rocket's shiny. Everything looks good. Our TV straight. stays on it. Has some RTV. Yeah, looks like someone died over it, but it's fine. It has an expansion cone. Yeah, expansion cone and tail cones. It's quite optimized. Expansion cones all always just make the rocket better, no matter what. Um, yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, good luck. Yeah, we'll see. I think it's a worry. I'm going to say 45. 45? Yeah. Okay. 45,000 flat. Braden? What did you say it's simming to? 56. That's a simming camo paint, I think. 52, 485. 2, 485. So I. That's a good guess. I'm the highest. I have 53, 449. Braden has 52, 485. Julian has 48, 126. Cameron has 47, 300. Chase has 37,800. Walter has 7,000. He built the rocket, so <laughs> take, the, take that for what you will. And Chase also has 230 feet. So Chase made the propellant for the rocket. Oh, did you actually? Yeah. <laughs> oh. huh. But that's that's not official until this motor works. What propellant is it? Oh, well, I, Robin, I heard this already. Yeah, I think we it's too early. All right, well, here we go, I guess. Are you guys ready? Stand by. Five second count. Five, four, three, two, one, ignition. I like the fin can on that. Those are good colors. Yeah, uh, six. Right here, probably. Want to tell me about this one too? Sure. Introduce yourself again. <laughs> so I'm Thomas Buska. Uh, I'm a mechanical engineering student at Arizona State. This is my rocket Deja Vu, heavily based on a friend's design. Uh, it's an L2100 Propellant X uh, Submin. From here to here is propellant. This is nozzle. From here to here is recovery. So there's recovery in the motor case. From here to here is avionics. And then the rest is nose tip. So should be pretty boosty. Um, it should go supersonic at about 250 feet. It should do about Mach 3.6 at 2200 feet. And it should only go to about 20,000 feet. So it's an atmospheric plow desperately trying and absolutely losing to get through the atmosphere. And it uh, should get hot. I hope all the pain is gone at the end. And I hope that we find it. Can you tell us and about the fin can? Yeah, so this fin can, uh, it's a diamond airfoil. It's designed by Julian, French Julian, um, from uh, some months ago, he flew this rocket, um, his a revision of it, and he had an extra fin can and I bought it off him. Uh, it's aluminum 3D printed, it's hollow inside, it has ribs. Uh, it's the coolest thing I've ever flown, probably. And uh, yeah, excited to see it rip. Cool, good luck. Are we good on the avionics, everyone? Yeah, avionics are good. All right, five, four, three, two, one. Alright, still complete, ready for five count. Still complete, ready for five count. 
A little tangled, but like the mock rush. Oh, nice. Yeah, nice looks here. sick. How about you? The thin can is though. perfect. The nose cone is pretty much perfect. Yeah. I don't know how because this is like the paint that we had in the shop that is absolutely not special at all. It's like seven bucks a can. They were so close. With the, and it's also not plugged in on that end. There's multiple layers. Tell us about the motor. It's a five inch P. It's longer than an M1378. And it's got a splice liner. It's probably gonna burn and explode. No, no, no. But, it's gonna uh, be fine. <laughs> I think it's gonna be fine. <laughs> we'll see what happens. What propellant is it? Uh, it's experimental APCP. Uh, it's pretty basic and boring in performance, but it's just optimized for a test recovery flight for a space shot rocket. So yeah, nothing too crazy. The propellant's not crazy, but the motor length is. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. What kind of solid content you got in there? It's 83% solids. Uh, it's 8% aluminum, 2% magnesium, and 2% melamine. And then the rest is liquids, and it's 83% solids. Hmm. 71. Yeah. Uh, short. Yeah, I, I thought I saw flame above. Yeah, I, 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 I saw it too. <laughs> 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 